Hey guys, Simon here with Off My Frame Photography. So today we are going to look at a product that I'm probably going to be a little bit biased on. However, this product is something that I've used for a good seven years. And for the past seven years, I have to say, it has held up very, very well. And you guessed it, it is Apple. But I mean, you could tell that by the title and the thumbnail of this video. So today, we're not gonna dive into the MacBook Air first. We're actually going to go into details about the Mac Mini. So as many of you know, there has been videos upon videos upon videos of the Mac Mini running around of its performance, how great it is, what it can do for you, how it works for you. I mean, there's endless amounts of videos that specifically talk on the Mac Mini. Well, I wanted to give my take on it because I feel like I get lost in between this idea of, oh, I need it for this, I have to have it for 4K video, I have to have it for editing this type of software on After Effects and da 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 da. You know, I think it starts becoming a little bit too much. So I kind of wanted to give a entry level and professional level kind of idea of how this computer will work for your daily day-to-day -day task. So I have the Mac Mini right here. I recently purchased this Mac Mini. So Mac Minis have really taken over this new era of cheap computing from Apple. Apple is known to have very sophisticated hardware and be known not to be very upgradable, but their quality has always been of high demand and very expensive. So it's now becoming this flagship product of the affordability for creators to start their thing. And now we're getting more affordable prices for stuff such as a Mac which is crazy because even this is a thousand dollars. But now you can get something that is literally the same in this form. Oh, well, it doesn't have a screen. It doesn't have a trackpad. It doesn't, well, who really cares? Okay, if you're really trying to get a bang for your buck, it is the Mac Mini. Because usually, I'm pretty sure if you are in any kind of tech or have gotten into technical stuff, you have got a monitor laying around. I mean, you got a TV. They work. I mean, not great, but they work. Also, who doesn't have a keyboard laying around? A mouse. You can go get those for no more than 20 bucks at Walmart. So, really, the affordability aspect of it for you to have a Mac is there now. So, you don't have to go out and buy a thousand dollar machine. Now, I didn't buy this one. This one was given to me from one of my clients to work on. So, thanks. This gives me the ability to see the difference between two different machines, specifically the Air to the M2 Mac Mini. So the crazy thing is, is for one of my biggest clients, I have been able to produce tons and tons of videos on this specific Mac. And I tell you, this Mac right here is good. It does great. However, it has the M1 chip in it. This beauty came out in 2020, which really revolutionized the way that Mac had processed things. The graphics card and the core became integrated into one, which really made it for seamless usability in everything. Everything ran through the core. Everything was processed through the core. So this is what makes it very, I'm assuming more affordable because there are less components going into this and it is all Apple's hardware. So specifically looking at the Mac Mini, this thing is a beast. So I tell you, this wonderful machine, I have only had it for probably less than a month at this point. This machine can pump out some work. Now I considerably work on a ton of 1080p videos. That is mostly where I'm at, HD videos at 60 frames a second. That's my general. However, recently I have acquired a drone pilot's license and been able to fly drones and now I'm working with 4K footage. I really have to say the MacBook Air M1 is not really 
predominantly good in that area. Not putting it down, but it's definitely not up to par with how I expect a machine that's a thousand dollars on the market right now to run compared to a Mac Mini. You know, it it's it's a bit mind-boggling. And also the fact that I get an extra 250 gigs on this one, with this one only being, I think, 256. Really, I'm getting so much more for a machine so small and compact just because I don't have a monitor or a keyboard or a mouse when I can go buy all that for under $100. Well, maybe not a monitor. Actually, you know what? Let me return that. You can go to Goodwill and go find a monitor. Will it be great? No. Is it a monitor? Yeah, it is. So really you can. So it kind of suits whatever your needs are. If your grandpa needs a Mac Mini and you need to get him into the real world, well, there's a Mac Mini. Hook it up, put a monitor on it from Goodwill, and he'll be fine. Back to the point. Mac Mini M2 or MacBook Air M1. Honestly, Mac Mini is going to win this one just because of now its relevancy. It is a 2023 Mac Mini. They have worked out bugs. They have fixed the processors in different ways. And it also runs 4K fairly well. Will it advance further on in the upcoming years of technology? No. So what is the best choice? So you have the Mac Mini M2 or you have the MacBook Air M1. Well, it comes down to what best suits you. For me, I believe that Mac Mini M2 is gonna give you that much more power and allow you to create further on in the next five years with the software and its capabilities that it has now. So. Yes, it will not go past a point of, of 4K editing. You know, that's we're getting into the 5K, 6K, 8K. I can even afford 8K. However, technology is moving in that way. So yes, in about five years, it's probably not going to be relevant. But what technology is not? So I would go for the 2023 Mac Mini M2 versus the MacBook Air M1. But the MacBook Air is still very viable. There is still a lot you can do with it. It processes normally, 1080p perfectly, no issue. Uh, but once you start getting heavier into editing, I highly recommend that this is something you don't do. And if you are truly starting off on your either YouTube journey or if you're starting off in a career with working with video or as a photographer, I would highly recommend that you get a Mac Mini because this thing is going to carry you all the way through for the next five years to get you through the learning processes, understanding things, and actually figuring out what niche is yours because we all have different ones. We could go towards videography or we could go towards photography or graphic design. The machines are capable of handling all arrays of things. So this is not a you should buy this because I'm a photographer and I tell you to. No, this is a understanding where you are at currently as a photographer or a person that works with creativity online, managing media. You know, this machine is capable of handling everything that you need if you are starting out. So I highly recommend the Mac Mini M2 as your starter. If you are looking for something that is a little bit more higher and you know, you want to have a screen and a trackpad and a keyboard, sure go with the m1 2020 i'm pretty sure now you can find them for 600 dollars or sometimes 500 at the cheapest but they're gonna be ran through the mud a little bit so they're gonna have a little bit of mileage on them so expect that but if you want to go with something that is cheaper that is on the market at a good price up to date no issues your mac mini m2 is going to be the best so that is my take on it. Y'all do what you will with that information. So if you liked this video, 
leave a thumbs up and you know I hope to be putting out more here soon so y'all stay tuned and have a great day